The Ruakana Hydroelectric Power Station is most probably the country's single most important and expensive piece of infrastructure. The four turbines produces up to 330 megawatts of power, close to 70% of the country's needs. The number four turbine that was recently installed at the power station upped the output by close to 90 megawatts and further upgrading will see the three older turbines getting refurbished with newer technology to increase the output by a further 15 megawatts. The power station was commissioned in 1980 at a mere 200 million South African rand at the time but cost to build a new one would run into billions. NAM Power is also having ongoing negotiations with countries such as Zimbabwe, South Africa, Mozambique and Zambia in order to secure sufficient energy for a growing demand, especially on the mining and industrial front. There are even some who are saying that we are in a crisis. There is no crisis in this country. What we are having is a challenge. Of course, there is some deficit coming, but we have put plans in place Okay, to address you know, uh, those deficits, to address those challenges, and we have shared you know, those programs with the, with the public. All what we need is uh, the support, the cooperation from all our stakeholders, including customers. Otherwise, there is no crisis in this country. The reality is that the cost of supply continues to grow each and every year with inflation and also with more and more imports uh, from uh, neighboring states where uh, the, the cost is also going up. So what we, are, what we are going to see in Namibia is also the proportional uh, escalation of cost, which unfortunately we have to pass over to the customers. That is mainly between now and 2018. So by 2018, we foresee, we expect a, a good base load power plant to be operational, after which the prices of electricity will then start to the remaining three generators will be upgraded with new runners during the low season when the water levels of the Kuneni River are too low to keep all turbines running. This will be done during the next two years between May and August this year.